I've earned my spot in that main event. And tonight, I'm going to prove to each and every one of you that I am the best wrestler in all of Prince Edward Island, in all of the Maritimes, in all of Canada. I'm not just gonna pin you for this belt tonight. I'm gonna make you never wanna come back to Prince Edward Island again. Lincoln Steen, you don't even know what you've started, but tonight, I'm gonna show you how it's finished. <laughs> You are an excellent competitor, but to have the foolishness to finish a match like that where you know, Mike Hughes, I took you to your limit, and then to challenge me to a Stratford street fight in September, well, that's a tongue twister I'm all ready for. No rules, pinfalls count anywhere. I can use anything I get my hands on to put you down for a three count. I like my odds. We'll see you in September. You attacked my leg, you tried to take me out, I get it. It's all about this. But when you called in Sexton Phoenix, and you called in Road Warrior Riddick Stone, well that sealed it for me. You told me that there are no holes barred. There's nothing that's off the map. That's why I challenge you to a Stratford street fight. And Lincoln Steen, when we're back here, September 14th, it doesn't matter. Whatever's not nailed down, whatever's not bolted to the floor, I'm going to use that and I'm going to beat you from the bridge to the ferry. And Lincoln Steen, you'll start swimming back to New Glasgow. Lincoln Steen, I'll pin you on the stage here. I will pin you in the balcony. I will pin you on the backboard if I have to. But I will guarantee you one thing, Lincoln Steen. There's only one person walking out of Stratford September 14th, and that guy's wearing the gold belt right now. Devastating choke slam and head injury. Put your hands together for the return of Red Rock Wrestling official Zach Doyle. Zach Doyle is healthy and well enough to get back to resuming his refereeing duties. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here with beloved Red Rock Wrestling official Zach Doyle. For those of you who don't remember, the last time we saw Zach Doyle, he was lifted 
about eight feet in the air and choke slammed by Brody Steele. First of all, Zach, I want to profoundly apologize on behalf of Red Rock Wrestling for the actions of Mr. Brody Steele. He has been suspended indefinitely. We'll get to that later. How are you feeling right now? It's been about a month so far, so it's, uh, you know, I'm feeling a lot better. The first week was hard to get, uh, get by, like uh, my neck was hurting a lot, a lot. So, but I'm really glad with uh, the, the decision you made uh, with suspending Brody Steele. I'm really happy with that. Um, and I got to thank the fans of Red Rock Wrestling, actually. Uh, over the past month, I've had uh, a crazy response uh, from emails to texts to Facebook messages asking if I've been okay, and I really want to thank the fans. Um, but, yeah, I'm doing a lot better. We're so glad to hear that, Zach. You were such a valuable part of the Red Rock Wrestling team, and we were all very concerned when you were hoisted way up in the air uh, by Brody Steele. How did you feel when Brody Steele grabbed a hold of you? I'll tell you the truth. I, it was just uh, I, I don't really remember much just because the adrenaline's running through me so so much. But uh, uh, I was scared. I was scared for my life. You know, a man that big lifting someone my size, right? Um, uh, stuff happens in the wrestling world. Absolutely, stuff does happen in the world of professional wrestling, and we're so glad that you're all right. Rick Durning, you want to come in here and make a name for yourself on my account? Well, I'm the road warrior, Riddick Stone. And I'm going through you like hot knife through butter. One, two, three. Ah! Once again, the Tyler Zone up to interference, up to no good. Jonathan, Jonathan, Jonathan. Show after show, day after day, match after match, the Tyler Zone is interfering. They're getting in other people's business. They're ruining matches. They're ruining the shows. We're sick of it. Tonight they got involved in his match. I can't take it anymore. If you don't do something about it, I sure am. I went out and got the best wrestler in Atlanta, Canada I could. And this is what happened. Sexton Phoenix, Riddick Stone, you're out there getting involved in Cowboy Mike Hughes' championship match. You know, me and Cowboy Mike Hughes weren't always friends, but since I've been over here, we've trained together, we've hung out together, and he's taught me the spirit and pride of PEI, and that these are the most loyal, toughest people, from Tignish to Surrey, it doesn't matter. And you're gonna go out you weirdo Sexton Phoenix, you meathead Riddick Stone and get involved. I don't know if you guys want a one-on-one -on -one or a two-on-two, -on -two, but in time, you're gonna get it.